guys welcome back to my channel so today i wanted to film a tag video because i haven't done a tag for a while so i figured what should i do and then i was browsing through nikki murphy's uh, youtube channel go check her out she just gave me a shout out in her video yesterday oh. So I saw that she did the eyeshadow junkie tag and I really liked it so I'm doing the eyeshadow junkie tag as well. Basically it's all about your favorite uh, eyeshadows and your favorite palettes and stuff like that and the first shadow that you bought. So I really liked it and let's do it. So I have all the questions on my phone here and the first one is your favorite drugstore eyeshadow. Um, I don't really go to the drugstore to buy eyeshadow because here in the Netherlands um, the amount that you pay for, for example, a L'Oreal eyeshadow is almost the exact same amount as a MAC eyeshadow. The prices for drugstore makeup are very very high here. So I tend to stay away from the drugstore most of the times and I just order online. But I do want to talk about my Freedom eyeshadows and they are so super affordable. They basically count as drugstore I think and the pigment is very very nice as well. Here, it's so shiny. And um, so yeah, I picked this as my favorite drugstore eyeshadow. You see me use a um, just basic white eyeshadow from them all the time when I set my eyeshadow base. So. There you go, Freedom eyeshadows. I think they are 2 euros each, so that's quite affordable. Next is my favorite eyeshadow primer and of course my Catrice eyeshadow base or my Maybelline Color Tattoo in Creme de Nude. Basically this has beaten the MAC Paint Pots for me because they work the same on me. Uh, I don't have really oily eyelids, so this works fine. The first eyeshadow that I purchased, um, I don't really remember exactly what the first one was, but I do remember a few that I got like early on when I started collecting makeup. I think I was like 16 or 15 or something like that. And it's the Femme V eyeshadow from MAC. And I think this was from the sci-fi collection, something like that, you know, the bright orange collection. And yeah, this was around when I first got into MAC. I still have it, I used it very much, uh, you can't really see it on camera, but I'm close to hitting pen. So I kind of stopped using it, because this one is super limited edition. So yeah, I don't want to hit pen on this one. My most, the most underrated and most overrated makeup palettes. Well, for the most overrated makeup palette that I have, I would go for a Zoeva one, um, the Rose Gold eyeshadow palette. It's a very nice palette, but all the colors look alike when you start blending. Um, well, they kind of are similar as well when you start blending, but when you start blending all these coppery shades, they kind of become one shade, so you can hardly, you know, do looks with it except for a single wash of shadow. So this was pretty much overrated. I really looked forward to receiving this, but yeah, I hardly use it now. And then for the most underrated eyeshadow palettes, well, they're not underrated, but I hardly see people buy them. And I think that everybody should, you know, purchase a palette from them whenever they bring one out because they're amazing and they're so cheap if you compare them to their singles. And the one that I'm talking about is Anastasia Beverly Hills. Um, I think I paid $30 for this palette and the pigment is insane, insane. You can hardly find shadows that can compare with this. So, you know, I don't get it why more people are you know, totally spamming everything with Anastasia shadow palettes. I don't get it. But they are, of course, well known, but not many people have them. So I think they're quite underrated for that. And the next question is my favorite color eyeshadow. Um, I think I would go with a brownish, brownish shade with more of a red tone to it. 
um, I think that's always nice and it kind of brings out the green in my eyes and the color I picked up to kind of show you is Cornelius by Colourpop this is a really nice shade if you have pale skin like me it's a perfect transition color and it has kind of it's kind of a more warmer brown but it could also work with cool tones it's kind of strange it's it's just a very nice shade the next question is what is my drugstore dupe and I <laughs> that's a pretty weird question but I think they meant um, if I know a drugstore dupe for a high-end palette so I picked up my makeup revolution um, redemption palette the iconic one such a weird name because this is a definitely an exact dupe for the naked palette from Urban Decay the first one and the first one is actually the only one that I really liked you know color wise so I could recommend you this tube and Re Makeup Revolution isn't you know really available here at the drugstore but it's a drugstore price so I figured let's pick this as a drugstore dupe then the next question is my favorite single eyeshadow and yes yes I'm going to pick Cornelius from Colourpop again <laughs> Uh, yeah, I'm sorry, but if I only had to pick one single eyeshadow, I would go for this one, definitely. Then they asked me about my favorite cream eyeshadow. Well, I just showed it to you as my eyeshadow base, because that's basically what it is. This is a cream eyeshadow, and um, yeah, this one is very, very nice. But I also have it in this turquoise uh, forever shade, and this is also... Oh, I dropped it. I almost dropped it. <laughs> so this one is also a very a nice shade and um, I think this suits most people because it's although it's a very very bright color it brings out the green in my eyes and it would bring out the brown in brown eyes and I think it would look flattering with blue eyes as well if you combine it with some different shades. So yeah the Maybelline color tattoos are definitely my favorite cream eyeshadow. They asked me about my favorite nude eyeshadows and I picked up one of my recent found favorites for neutrals. The Tartelette in Bloom palette. Oh, oh my god. I'm still like... <gasps> whenever I open it, you know, it's just... ah, And it smells so good. It smells like white chocolate. And I did a... Uh, in my previous tutorial, I used this palette as well. And um, at first when I opened it, I was like... Yeah, yeah, the colors look, yeah, just you know, neutrals. And then I first used it uh, late at night. I very quickly used some of the darker shades, and I was like, yeah, yeah, don't really, you know, like the pigment too much. Just you know, yeah. And I kind of regretted buying it, but then. I started to experiment more and more with it and then I kind of fell in love with it because those shadows are so buttery, they blend so so well because most of the shadows are matte and sometimes matte shadows are a hell to work with and these blend very very nicely so I was like oh god yes I'm so happy that I do like it after all and um, I use it all the time now basically. Then I had to pick my most favorite palette ever. Oh my god, I have so many eyeshadow palettes. I was like, <gasps> which one am I going to choose? Like, mm. Then I realized there is only one palette I went nuts for and I refreshed the web browser. And um, so it definitely had to be that one. And the one that I'm talking about is the Morphe 350 palette. Like, oh my god, it was such a challenge to get my hands on this palette because it's always sold out. And um, it's so, so amazing. The quality. Uh, I did a review video on this one, I will link it down below as well. And um, yeah, their shades are very, very nasty to use for every day. But you also have those oranges, and oh, I love orange eyeshadow, I really love it. And um, it also has an amazing foiled eyeshadow over there. And yeah, you could do, you know, your day-to-day -day basis looks with this one, your evenings out. I think I could even manage to get out a perfect bridal look out of it. So this is just a very nice shade. Everybody loves warm colors and um, I can totally get why it's always sold out.
So that's about it for you know the eyeshadow junkie tag. I'm definitely an eyeshadow junkie. I do think that I purchase lipsticks you know more over eyeshadow but eyeshadow is definitely my number two. It's I have so much eyeshadow I would never finish it in my entire lifetime I guess. Um, yeah yeah <laughs> so i hope you guys enjoyed this video i will talk to you guys very soon in another video and um yeah have a lovely day and don't forget to thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and i will talk to you guys very soon bye bye